Hello, in this video, we will learn how to solve any number pattern program. Now when you search the internet, there are so many video playlists with 30 plus videos or lengthy blogs on these programs. So do you need to learn all of them? Answer is no. You need to learn a few tricks and you can solve most of the number pattern program on your own. If you go through this video, you will be able to make any of these patterns and many more and I will explain to you how. When you do a number pattern program, you will notice there are actually two things which make the pattern. One is the pattern or shape and second is the numbers which are there inside the pattern. Like over here, the numbers are same but they are in different pattern or here the pattern is same but each of the triangles have different numbers. If you are new to number pattern programming, first thing you need to remember is that you should not mix the code for these two. Means your program will have two separate logic, one to make the pattern and other to put in the numbers as per the question. Just giving a short example here to explain what I mean. Suppose we have a pattern like this. Many of the kids I teach will start writing the code for an increasing triangle pattern and then use i or j inside print statement as required. To match the numbers written inside the pattern, they will try to change the values of i or j loop to match the pattern numbers. But the moment they start changing i and j values, they get confused and any wrong move over here can change your shape itself. So in this video, while I am teaching you how to make number pattern, I will also explain how to keep these two separate so that your chances of errors are reduced. So let's get started. First thing we need to learn is pattern. It is the shape which contains the numbers. As we just saw, the question can ask you same numbers in any different shape. So first thing you necessarily need to know is how to form that shape with a basic star. If you have not watched my video to create any star pattern program, you need to pause, click on the link given, watch that video and then return. It is very important that you first know how to create the shape with just star as we will just reuse those pattern codes here and add the number part. I am giving a quick summary of my star pattern video. What we learnt is that you can make any complex shapes by learning to code only two basic shapes, increasing triangle and decreasing triangle. Let's see the code for both of them. Increasing triangle has outer loop from 1 to n and inner loop from 1 to i. Decreasing triangle have outer loop from 1 to n and inner loop from i to n. Inside the inner loop, we have a print statement to print the star and the last statement of the outer loop is a println statement which takes you to the next line after a complete row is printed. You need to remember these two pattern codes. Any complex pattern is just broken down to these basic triangles and then just clubbed together in sequence as they appear. For example, here we have first triangle with decreasing space and second triangle with increasing star so we will write two inner loop like this. If it is a hill pattern, there is another increasing triangle so we will put another inner loop. To ensure we have pointed edges, we will have one of the loops print one less column. This code will give us an output like this. So when you are given a number pattern, I will assume you do know how to create the shape with star and we are just going to reuse that code to build our number pattern program. Now let's see how we will handle number pattern program. Let's start easy with a single number pattern. Suppose it was pattern of just ones. When you solve pattern program with numbers, you will break your problem into two parts. First, what is the pattern and second, what are the numbers in it? You will first look at the shape and write the code which is required for that shape. 
As you see, this is increasing triangle program. We will first get the star pattern program for increasing triangle we had learnt in the star pattern video. So this program solves the first part of creating the pattern. Now we will come to numbers. We see this has constant same number in the pattern. So only change you need to do here is instead of star print the number 1 which is there and you are ready with the pattern code. Now you do know different pattern programs from my star pattern program video. This effectively means that in any of those, if you replace star with 1 in print statement, you can have varied pattern shapes with 1. Now this was too easy. Let's see something more closer to what is actually asked in the exam. Let's take a closer look at this pattern. Again to solve this, we break it into two parts, pattern and numbers. You know this is an increasing triangle pattern, so you can immediately recall the code which displays increasing triangle pattern with star. Increasing triangle has outer loop from 1 to n and inner loop from 1 to i. Now that we have the pattern sorted, we will focus on the numbers inside it. What we see is that the numbers start with 1 and is incrementing by 1 in each row. So we need 1 to be printed in row 1, 2 to be printed in second row, 3, 4 and so on. Now which of our loops manages the rows? It is the outer loop. Some of you might just say, ah, I am actually printing the row number and i variable actually holds the row number so i can just print i this is actually correct and will work however if you are new to patterns i would suggest not to mix indexes used for creating the pattern with actual number printing inside it as it gets complex when numbers to be printed changes so we will not touch the i and j values which are creating our pattern we will use another value p in outer loop and initialize it to the first value that is expected which is 1 here. In the increment section, we will increment it every time it goes to the next row. Inside the inner loop, we will print the variable p now. Now when you run it, it will give an output like this. The same logic we can use for any shape which has incrementing rows, like for example, the right sided triangle or hill pattern or any other pattern. Now what if the values were decrementing 5 first then 4 and then 3, 2 then 1. Again we see in a row the same number is printed so we will set p to the initial value which is 5 and decrement the value every time. In the inner loop we will print p. This will again work for all different pattern shapes with decreasing row numbers. Let's take some different patterns this time. Now in this pattern, first row starts with 0 and then next row is 2 and then 4 and 6 and 8. Here again, we will take the shape pattern program first and then in outer loop, we will set initial value of p to 0 and then increment by 2. In print statement, we will print p. This gives us the program for rows incrementing by 2. By using the same logic and first selecting the right pattern program and just changing the start value and increment value in the outer loop, you can create any of these number patterns. Now let's see another kind of pattern. What if the pattern was like this? Now here there is no set increment or decrement but it is just two values which are alternating. It could be number, pattern or even characters. Now how do we handle this? Let's pick one of them and study it closely. We do know how to write a star program for this pattern. If we see closely, in row 1, 3 and 5, we want 1 and in 2 and 4, we want 2. So what it is saying is that for odd rows print 1 and even rows print 2. So what we need to do in such scenarios is just add a if else around the print statement. We will say if i is even means i% 2 equal to 0 then print 2 otherwise print 1. 
with just this change you have your code ready for alternating numbers by using the same logic and just changing the values to be printed in odd and even rows you can pick up programs for any pattern and create any of these number patterns now how does this work in bigger pattern like diamond or butterfly pattern let's take diamond pattern as example here we have our star pattern code for diamond here instead of star the expectation is to print increasing row numbers now we have two outer loops here can you just in both loop write p starting from 1 do plus plus and replace star with printing p if you run this your pattern will show up like this till 4 it was fine but then it again started from 1 the lower loop was supposed to increment and use previous p and not take a new p so how will we fix this we know we cannot declare p again in second loop we need to use one p for both of the outer loops so what we will do is to move the initialization of p outside of the for loop so that it is available to both loops the increment will stay as is because we need p to increment after each row what if the pattern was like this it is increasing and then decreasing here we again take our star pattern code for diamond which builds the shape for us i'm printing them in two columns so that you can see complete code in one screen now first we have increasing number pattern so what we are going to do is that in first loop we will set p to 1 and increment it inside we will replace all print star with print p now in the second loop we have decreasing numbers so in the below pattern we will set p is equal to 5 and decrement it every time inside the loop we will replace star with print p everywhere this is our code for increasing and decreasing row number pattern so up till now we have looked at all different patterns where each row had same number what if there was change in column numbers now we will see set of patterns on that we do know that column printing is managed by our inner loop if we see these patterns what we see is that all rows start with 1 and then increment by 1 till end of the row let's take one of these as example here we have code for increasing triangle star pattern so when columns get incremented instead of outer loop we will take additional variable moment we enter inside the loop we will initialize our variable p to 1 inside the inner loop we will print p++ instead of star so let's see how it will work it will start with row 1 with i is equal to 1 then it enters the loop and p is initialized to 1 when it enters the inside j loop it prints p for the first row the inner loop will execute only one time so the println statement is executed next and row is incremented to 2 it will again initialize p to 1 first and then enter the inner loop it will first print p which is 1 p is incremented and then in the second pass of inner loop it prints 2 it then comes out and executes println similarly in row 3 it prints 1 2 3 and in row 4 it prints 1 2 3 4 and in row 5 it prints 1 2 3 4 5 the important point to note over here is that p is initialized to 1 every time moment you enter inside the first loop this cannot be done outside the loop as loop is executed multiple times and every time you enter a new row it needs to be initialized back to 1 second thing is we need to increment p every time it is printed so that for next print statement it has the incremented number now how does it work for this pattern here again we will get our code for this pattern we will initialize p to 1 moment we enter inside the first loop there is no change in the loop for space we will go to the loop which prints star and instead of star we will print p++ how does it work for hill pattern 
again exactly the same. We initialize p is equal to 1 first time when we enter the outer loop and then just replace star with p++. This is the code for the hill pattern. It will work the same for any double row pattern too like diamond or butterfly. Try it on your own and if you are facing difficulty, you can see the code on our website. Now what if it was decreasing column pattern? Here let's see two variations of the pattern. One is where it is reducing columns but starting number is same. Other is where ending number is same like this one. How will you handle these two? Now the starting number same is very easy and similar to what I showed in incrementing pattern. You will just set P to starting number which is 5 in this pattern and then replace star with P minus minus. This logic will work for all pattern shapes. But how to handle when start value is different? Means every time you need to initialize P with different value. It should be 5 in first row, 4 in second row, then 3, then 2 and then 1. The print statement will still remain the same P minus minus. How do I give it varying values? If you look closely, the value is n first, then n minus 1, then n minus 2, and then n minus 3, and so on. Here I will initialize another variable in outer loop starting with 5 and reduce it by 1 every time. I will use this variable now to initialize p. This gives us the code where starting values are different every time. What if the pattern was a hill pattern like this? This has increasing column numbers for first triangle and decreasing column numbers for second triangle. We will first get our standard program for hill pattern using star. Now after printing space, first triangle is incrementing column means starting with same number so we will initialize a variable p to 1 and print p++. In the next loop, you are actually just decrementing the same p so we will just do p minus minus. This should get us the required pattern. Let's see one another program Floyd triangle which is slightly different. Here if you see there is no row or column pattern but the number itself is incremented every time. Here what we will do is to initialize a variable outside the loops and every time we print we will just increment it. For a value of 4 rows it will give us an output like this. You can now try any different pattern shapes combined with different sequences of numbers. If you have any doubts, you can always reach out to us at simplycoding.in. Thank you and goodbye.